what's up? We're back here in the shop. Gonna do some work on the C10 here, and uh, it's just way too tall, so we're gonna drop her down and see how it looks. Show you along the way what we're doing, kind of the cheap ghetto way, but uh, it does the job. So, see how it goes, see how we like it. Um, probably already planned to do some air, air ride in the front, but uh, we'll see how this goes, and I might just stick with that. Stay tuned. So here's a good look at the former stance, all stanced up in the sky. We're going to change that right now. All right, I'm going to drop this baby. We thought one and a half coils might be enough, but we're just sending it full two and a half. You're not supposed to let it bend, you're supposed to cut it. <laughs> How low can you go? There it is. Two and a half coils removed. Cut it in half again to get it out. And moving on to the next one. The big question is, are these original spiral shock absorbers going to bottom out when we drop it? Stay tuned to find out. Got to make her look pretty. I have a feeling it's going to be super slammed riding on the bump stops. That's looking real nice. You should think about getting a part-time job. That's <laughs> what we do. Took off two and a half coils. Yeah. But now the trick is going to be always right. We're getting so close. The anticipation is killing me. Hurry up. Ready? I think it's gonna be slammed. Tucking rim, looking like a spaceship. Tried to lower it down, but uh, had to stop midway so we can realign the coils as we drop it since they don't exactly fit like factory any longer. That is pretty low. Looks perfect. But is it stuck on the on the lift? Yep. Get your fat butt out of the way. Fire it up and turn it. See, see how it see how she lives. There it is, guys. What do you think? I think it looks perfect. Arch of the wheel and tire just fits the arch of the fender. Perfect. All clear. Now we are starting at the bottom, working um, Transitionally, like starting on half of this one half of the spring, and then working either 45 or 90 degrees, or one eight, or about 90 degrees or 180 uh, to heat it up and get it to drop just right, and that way it allows the coil to drop on itself evenly. Yep. The 
but this is how you do it if you live in a trailer park or you just don't want to dump a bunch of money into something you want it to look cool Cool. What do you guys think? I like it. So at this point, we dropped about two and a half inches. Started at 16 and a half or 16 and a quarter on that side. Getting there. And there it is, looking tight, all done. Man, I love 67 to 72 trucks. Yeah, get some. That thing is looking cool. On the power so this truck's pretty rust free I mean look at it looks like garbage but uh, you know it's got a lot of surface rust it's been sitting around a long time but you know, look at this firewall factory runs in the paint love it but you know there's no rot in this thing at all really it's don't know where it came from but had to have been somewhere dry Pretty much all the original paint besides this door that's all crusty. Somebody tried matching up on it. And it's a little beat up for sure, but you know, it might get painted one of these days, it might not. But it still looks cool. I'm trying to put her together. And uh, interesting thing in this, uh, these trucks have a protecto plate build sheet, you know, right in the glove box, which is really awesome. And this one doesn't even specify what motor it has because it was so budget. Just uh, no options, basically. Kind of crazy. At least it had gauges. But uh, yeah, look at that spacing. There's no room. <laughs> Can't fit nothing in there. My legs won't even fit. I'm just a little guy. But for Calvin, he's not even pissing on anything. Oh. God save us. <laughs> Resonation is the worst I have ever heard. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Hope it was informational. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.